It's a high altitude aircraft and it's designed for ground reconnaissance. And with the arrival of that aircraft in Sigonella today, I think NATO uh, had a historical marker. Uh, for the first time, after 22 hours, an aircraft, NATO aircraft, was ferried from California to Sigonella. Uh, great achievement. For the first time, it's a really NATO-owned and operated capability. Uh, so NATO and its decision bodies can really use that at their discretion. Um, and this is a little bit different from nations providing a capability to NATO. Uh, so NATO has more, it, it has its own capability, if you will. Today, it started its journey in California. Uh, took about 22 hours and it flew nonstop here, which was actually not even the limit of its endurance. It has a 30 hour endurance. And to put that in perspective, it could fly from the North Pole to the South Pole nonstop if it wanted to. So it got here, but it's, uh, it's about two thirds of a fuel tank. Well, the beauty of the mission, not just the plane, but the people itself, is it could be tasked for a full range of missions, all the way from crisis response for humanitarian disaster relief to border security, all the way up to an Article 5 response. So that there's no crisis that this plane could not respond to. Host Nation Italy has been fantastic. They provide this hangar, they're doing the construction work. Uh, they, as you heard me talk earlier, they gave the license and registration, never been done. Uh, so they just stepped up to the plate. 